Hi there guys, it's Justin here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use River Tuna statistics to cap your FPS to alleviate stuttering in game as well as providing smoother gameplay. So before I get started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that you've already set up MSR Afterburner and then you've already set up your monitoring and all that. What you're going to need over here is if you haven't got it yet, please go ahead and find a frame rate average, put a tick next to it, and then make sure to tick it at the top here so it's an on screen display. Okay, fantastic. So, just to show you, uh, I've got everything set up, I've got my FPS, blah, 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 blah. Obviously, average is not going to display straight off the bat. There's an extra setting that you need to go ahead and set up that. So I'm going to go back there, I'm going to minimize MSR Afterburner, I'm going to open up River Tuna Statistics, and what we're going to do here is we're going to be monitoring our average FPS, because our average FPS is going to give us a value uh, that we're going to minus 5 FPS, and then we're going to cap our FPS at our average minus 5 FPS. And the reason we're doing that is generally your average fps you're still going to get a couple of fps drops so what we're trying to do is we're trying to get your fps to a stable amount where it might lose one or two fps here or there but generally you're not going to be losing too much fps and in so doing it's going to feel like your gameplay is smooth without stuttering so let me get to it so you go to setup and go down enable benchmark mode Okay, let's go back into the game. Okay, so straight off the bat, I am using OBS, so I am using about oh, 5 to 10 FPS. And then, oh, let me just show you my settings quickly. So I am playing on high texture quality, high shadow quality, and mental fusion. Screen space reflections on ambient occlusion is set to HBA O plus. All my CPU or geometry settings are medium. And then depth of field is high, everything else is on. And then motion blur strength is 10, field of view is 10. And then sharpness is 5. And the display exclusive full screen display resolution is 1080p. Pressure, da 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 da, get the gist of it over here. So, those are my settings. So, I'm going to continue. So, what you want to do is you want to find a section in the game, uh, whichever game you're testing, where you can play for two minutes to five minutes so that the average FPS that's captured on your screen is an accurate reflection of, of what the average FPS you are achieving in that game. And the reason we want to do that is. Once you find your average FPS, it means that sometimes it goes higher, sometimes it goes lower. And that's why we're going to cap the FPS at 5 FPS below the average FPS. So I'm going to swing for like another minute. And then I'm going to get to my average FPS. So generally on the settings that I'm using now, when I'm not using OBS, uh, my average FPS total comes to 70 and then I cap my FPS to 65 and then in, on a very rare occasion my FPS will drop to below 65 but generally I'm playing at 65 FPS and my game feels smooth as butter but obviously with the FPS that does affect my FPS because I'm using OBS it does affect my FPS a little bit Right, so I think that's about enough. So there my average FPS is 64. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to show you what you would normally do. You go open up River Tuna Statistics, you go press add, and then wherever your game file is saved. In my case, 
it's under C games Marvel Spider-Man Remastered and then you find your executable double click on the executable and then make sure your executable is highlighted now my average FPS in that game with OBS enabled was 64 so I am going to cap it for the purpose of this video I'm going to cap it at 60 because obviously using OBS I am using a couple of FPS but I think I shouldn't go below 60 whilst using OBS so it will give it give you a nice indication of what I mean when I say it's going to cause smoother gameplay and then just make sure I switch off benchmark mode okay minimize this go back into the game and now what you should see is my FPS should stay at a smooth 60 and as you can see it makes the game look smooth as butter. Yeah, so just as I mentioned, um, I am gaming on mostly high and medium settings. So when I'm not using OBS, my average FPS is 70, but I cap my game at 65, and then it's very seldom that my FPS will drop below 65. And that results in me experiencing a very smooth gameplay. And guys, trust me, this really makes your gameplay feel a lot smoother. In fact, it makes your game feel faster. Because the problem with um, not capping your FPS is that, yes, it feels nice to get high FPS. But you're going to experience high FPS sometimes. But most of the time, you're going to be experiencing FPS drops. So if you cap your FPS slightly below your average FPS, it just makes your game feel smooth as all hell and as you can see even though i've got obs I've in, in for mostly high settings my fps is 16 is sticking to 60 and my gameplay feels nice and smooth so now you can apply this method uh, except for there but it means obs whatever uh, so what you can do is you can apply this to just about every game that you have trust me guys it makes games run a lot smoother this method is particularly helpful when playing uncharted but uncharted still needs to be a little bit more optimized because i generally play on a mixture of high and medium settings and i cap my fps at 55 but then in cutscenes my fps still does drop in uncharted but guys as you can see this method works nicely to smooth out your gameplay so if you got any com questions hit me up in the comment section if you enjoyed this video please be sure to smash that like button and if you haven't subbed to the channel just yet please be so kind as to subscribe other than that guys have a fantastic day enjoy the last day of the weekend it's people like you that make a difference cheers